The story happened in 2006, when the story provider, Mike, was only 12 years old. According to his recollection, he was quite naughty that year, but not the simple kind of running around, but rather intellectually advanced naughtiness. He loved to explore places he had never been to and was always brainstorming, so he didn't like things that other children liked, such as Transformers, Racing Toy, or PSB. What he hoped most was to travel with his parents and buy some local souvenirs, which were very attractive to him. That summer vacation, Mike's parents took him to Zinnen. His parents bought him a set of Terracotta Warrior souvenirs, which Mike loved very much. However, strange things happened on the way back. At that time, he and his parents were taking the sleeper train home because the journey was long. In the carriage, he felt very bored, so he told his father that he was going to the bathroom. At that time, his parents were chatting with others, so they said you go by yourself and come back early. This was exactly what he meant. When he went, he had planned to go to other carriages to look around and carefully observe the passengers on the same journey. He did this to impress himself so that he could quickly find his parents' location when he came back. The first thing he saw was a family of three, then several old people playing cards on the small table in the middle, followed by a big bearded uncle. He remembered this big beard because when he first got on the train, this person was walking back and forth in the carriage, taking the small book as if he was recording something, and carefully observing Mike and his parents. He kept asking Mike, What's in your small bag? Mike said, I have fun stuff in it. And he didn't pay attention to him. Although there were many different kinds of people along the way, he remembered these three positions, so he basically wouldn't get lost. He went to the bathroom, but when he came out of the bathroom, the train had entered the tunnel. The sudden darkness made him unable to see anything. He didn't dare to move. After a while, the lights in the carriage came on, and he followed the original plan and walked towards another carriage. But when he walked in, he found that all the people in this carriage had gone to sleep, and the person in the first bunk after entering the carriage was that big bearded uncle. He was covered with a quilt at this time, but his hair was exposed outside, so this was the answer at a glance. Next, he carefully looked at these people's faces, which were those old people, a family of three, and then his own parents. Below was his own empty bunk. Looking out of the window, it was pitch black and should still be in the tunnel. So he thought, did he walk the wrong way and come back? That's okay, I'll keep going forward. There are fun things in that carriage. He continued to the next carriage. But after he went in, he found that it was still the big bearded uncle, those old people, a family of three, and his parents' empty bunk. He panicked at that time. He tried to call his father, but no matter how he called, his father did not respond. At the same time, he felt something chasing him, getting closer and closer, so he started to run from one carriage to another, until he couldn't run anymore. He was still looping in these carriages. At this time, he looked back and thought, I'll find the carriage. He couldn't remember how many sections he had run through, and with nowhere to turn for help, he had no choice but to stop. He lay down in that section of the carriage, on his own empty bunk. He slept until daylight, with his parents looking at him with concern, turning him over and adjusting him. It was great, he was fine, 
they hugged him tightly. But after getting off the train, he found that his set of terracotta warriors, that bag, was filled with a bunch of inexplicable toys. He didn't like game consoles at all, and after returning home, he found that the decoration style of his home, the family atmosphere, and after a period of time, the work of his parents, were all completely different from before. In his memory, his father used to be a teacher, but now, his father has been a factory worker for more than a decade. The network of relationships around him, daily social interactions, including the content of conversations, what he thinks in his mind, the whole set is different. Isn't it a bit like the feeling of a parallel universe? He ran to another carriage, woke up, and found that only the appearance of his parents hadn't changed. Their clothes hadn't changed. Even the toys in that bag had changed. And then the work of his parents. Everything had changed. But after all, he had one idea. Where did he, in this world, where he can go? He said that once, he heard his parents chatting in his sleep. His dad said to mom, that big beard really has a way. Mom said. He's back, but you see, you prepared those toys for him. He doesn't like them. There's no way. The big beard didn't tell us exactly, he said. You should prepare some toy. Just tell to prepare some fun toy. Our child used to love playing with tanks. He has been lost for a year. Maybe his temperament has also changed. Mom quickly stopped the father from talking. The Big Beard said. You can't mention anything about the past. It will be fine when he grows up. 